So I like to edit my videos on the go. And the reason for this is, of you know, when when you're out and about or in different parts of the world when you're traveling, um, all you really need is your phone. And then you can edit your videos on the go. That's really useful. Um, the only thing that I've um, wanted to do lately is to um, plug a microphone into it so that um, I can get a more consistent sound. Not that the, the phone sound is um, bad, it's just that when you're filming some stuff that the phone is further away from you, the sound is different. So this just gives me a more consistent sound. And also, if I'm dubbing audio over a video, um, if I plug this microphone into here, then at least I can get a consistent sound. The sound will be the same when I dub over, over it. Um, and um, it works great. This little boy microphone has really good um, sound for, for, for its cost. It's quite cheap, but it has really good quality sound. Um, so if we record some sound, we test, test, and you see it, it records sound just fine. Um, now the problem I have is when I try to play it back, um, obviously now I'd like to, when I'm editing, hear what I've played, and if I try to play it back, I can't hear anything. Now, of course, the reason for that is because something's plugged into the headphone jack and it thinks there's a set of headphones in there. So um, if I want to hear it, I need to unplug the headphones first. Test, test, and you see it, it records and then, sound just fine. Um, now, the problem I have is when I try to play it back. Um, so as you can see, unplugging and plugging the headphones is a pain. So... What should I do? Well, the obvious solution is to have some sort of splitter cable that splits headphones into one and the mic plugs into the other. Now this is, I have tried several cables before like this one, but this doesn't work because this is headphones only and not microphone. So this just gives you two sets of headphones output. So what I really need is a type of splitter that splits the tip ring ring sleeve or TRRS but it doesn't split them equally it only splits the microphone pins and the headphone pins independently you can get splitters like these that just mirror what happens on the jack plug to both sockets unfortunately this won't work because as soon as you plug the headphones in it would short circuit the microphone pins so you can get a different kind of splitter that actually does actually split the signal properly. The problem with them, of course, is the um, output sockets are wired incorrectly because they're made for uh, either a PC headset or the PC format of like a three pins for the mic and three pins for the headphone jack. So that doesn't work either. So if we make our own splitter, instead of splitting uh, the signals equally to both sockets, uh, what we'll do is we'll make... Uh, a microphone socket which just has the common ground and the mic signal going to that socket and the um, headphone socket where the common ground and the left and right audio channels go to that headphone socket there probably is um, an adapter out there so far I've only seen the options where you have uh, one type of splitter and another adapter plugged into one of the sockets and I'm not a big fan of um, multiple adapters plugged into each other hanging off the side of my phone. Now I can show you how my adapter works by plugging, um, plugging it into my phone and then um, plugging the, um, the Boya mic into the one splitted end and then I'll feed the other sound output uh, into a um, amplifier, into a speaker so that we can hear the sound. So, um, so the sound is being fed into the amp and the speaker so we can hear the sound and obviously our microphone is plugged in here. So let's give it a test now to see if that works any better. So obviously the mic is working so let's record some sound. So we can test the recording just to see what it sounds like and if we play it back we should be able to hear it through the speaker now. So we can test the recording just to see what it sounds like and if we play it back we should be able to hear it through the speaker now. So that's the sound coming through um, my amplifier speaker. So um, yeah, so 
now I just pop a set of headphones in here and then um, I can hear what I'm editing and also because it's on the headphones um, it won't disturb anybody else so I think that's a needle solution um, I'll now show, show you exactly how this splitter cable is wired and um, how I made it so the microphone just uses two wires so one of them was clipped off since I didn't need it and it made it easier for me to solder so I didn't have an unnecessary wire dangling about I twisted the two ground wires together on the jack side that's the bit that plugs into the phone I'll be soldering the mic socket to the left and the headphone socket to the right this is enameled wire so you need to kind of burn through the enamel with the hot soldering iron just to turn it first so that the solder sticks to the copper underneath the enamel if you apply a bit of solder to everything first then it's easy because you just touch the soldering iron to um, join everything together very quickly preparation is key here make sure you put the end caps and the heat shrink sleeving on the wire first so that it can be slid over the connections afterwards and shrunk down to make it all neat and to protect the connections underneath make sure that you put your screw caps and heat shrink on the cable first there's nothing worse than soldering all your connection then having to unsolder them just so that you could put your heat shrink sleeving on again just a quick continuity test to make sure there's no short circuits and that I wired it all correctly and then we could put the sockets on I purchased the uh, sockets and jack plug uh, from eBay and um, it's a very compact type so you have to use quite thin cables um, they're quite neat they make for a very uh, compact slimline um, uh, splitter afterwards and uh, you just have to be uh, very delicate and make sure you don't uh, make it too chunky because uh, after the heat shrink it all has to still fit together and screw together nicely but uh, with a bit of effort it came out quite nice I was quite impressed with the end result to, um, to, to burn through the insulation the, the layer of lacquer or shellac uh, takes a bit of practice um, but it's uh, very doable with a really hot soldering iron it helps to plug another jack plug into the socket so that way you can test the continuity on the other side after you've soldered it and also identify the correct pins to solder to well, another trick that I did was was to use some um, nail varnish lacquer um, from the missus and just painted it all over the connections just to prevent any short circuits just before I put the heat shrink sleeving on and shrunk it down by plugging a jack into the sockets I can test the polarity of each socket to see if they're wired correctly Now this is the microphone socket. So that's mic. Yep. And the rest should not be connected. So this is the ground. That's the ground. Ground to ground. So let's swap those around now. This should be the headphones socket so now we should have tip this is one channel and the second channel and the ground and these shouldn't be connected and here I've connected these two together so there you have it uh, the finished product I think it came out rather nice I have since realized that um, there is another way without making this adapter um, you can actually connect Bluetooth headphones it's a bit tricky it doesn't always work what you have to do is plug the uh, microphone in first um, on KineMaster the KineMaster app and then attach either a set of Bluetooth headphones or Bluetooth speakers afterwards and then um, then the sound will come out through the Bluetooth speakers uh, and you can still use the mic at the same time um, it's a bit hit and miss it doesn't always work but it is another option this hardwired option is a lot more robust and um, 
if you don't feel like uh, hunting around for the right adapter or ordering multiple adapters that simply don't work, um, just make your own. Um, uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you think this is way over the top, um, it might be for some people and others um, might want to do this themselves, make an adapter like this. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe and um, I'll see you on the next one. Yeah.